I'm headed over to Sprouts, hopefully to find some tasty treats for my next luxury picnic. I like to be able to offer my customers really good quality food and maybe even introduce to them something that they have never tried before. I think I'm going to grab some additional things just to have at the house and do a tasting. I think that's a good idea. How about we do a tasting video and see what kind of delicious cheeses pair with what kind of good spreads. Um, sort of like a wine and cheese tasting, but without the wine. Here we are at Sprouts Farmers Market. I like shopping at Sprouts for luxury picnics because they have a nice variety of cheese. I love cheese and they've dedicated a whole display for cheese and cheese spreads. Now if you love cheese but you can't tolerate it for digestion, they even have a nice assortment of non-dairy or vegan cheese as well. Eventually I plan to taste every single one of these, but I need your help. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite cheese and what is your favorite pairing to go with those cheeses? To me, part of the luxury experience is to taste new flavors in the right combinations. Charcuterie boards are included with my luxury picnics and I usually serve a couple of different kinds of deli meats and cheese, fresh fruit and veggies, dried fruit and dried veggies, nuts, crackers, breads, and spreads. I offer healthy options along with sweet treats and refreshing drinks. Here at Sprout, I can find everything I didn't even know I was looking for. And wow, look at all these nuts and seeds. Some raw, some roasted, salted or unsalted, in the shell or out of the shell. Mm, there's something for everyone here. So I'm back here at the house. Let me show you some of the things I picked up. To give my customers the best experience, I offer most things, I would say about 80% of things that are familiar and recognizable to them. Then the other 20% might be something new. I try to mix the flavors between sweet, savory, spicy, nutty, tangy, including raw, fresh foods and fermented foods like pickles and olives. There should also be an assortment of textures like soft, firm, crunchy, creamy, moist, and so on. For outdoor picnics, I'm very mindful about serving foods that have mayonnaise base that might spoil in the heat. So I'd steer clear of the potato salads or the pasta salads. I find that snack type food is best for nibbling and grazing throughout the picnic time frame. But tell me, what is your preference? Do you prefer a heartier meal with hot food and sandwiches? Or do you like to have snack type food like this for tasting and grazing? Leave a comment below. These are a few extra items I picked up just for us at home. If you're anything like me, I get tired of the same old food over and over again, so I like to try new things. But here's where I went wrong. I went to the store 
hungry. I broke the cardinal shopping rule. Ugh. So I end up coming out with extra things that I didn't intend to purchase. But oh well, we'll see. I've portioned everything out on the table so that we can do some tasting. I'll try to give you a good look at the packaging too in case you see something that looks good to you and you want to try it as well. This is where I guess smell-o-vision would really come in handy, but I'll do my best to try to describe the flavors and the textures as I go. Joining me for this tasting session is my mom. You will hear her voice, but you won't see her because she didn't really want to be on camera this time. Okay, I'm ready. Let's taste. <laughs> what should we taste first? The papaya. Papaya, mm -hmm. okay. So, here's a slice for you. And a slice for me. Mmm. Tastes like orange. Mm-mm. Good. Tastes like candy. Oh, it does. Yeah, it tastes, tastes like candy. I love it. I thought, I didn't know papaya would taste this good. So this is a sweetened papaya, and it has like a gummy texture. Mm-hmm. Almost like a, um, like gummy bears, but not as chewy. I love it. I think mm -hmm. that my customers will love this too. Yeah, they will love it. There's, there's no doubt it tastes very delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll finish this one later. Mm -hmm. This is really good. This is a keeper. Something salty now? Yes. I'm gonna try the cheese. Sounds good. All right. We're gonna try the uh, Asiago cheese, and the flavor is rosemary and olive oil. So, we both already love Asiago cheese, but we've never tasted that particular flavor. Right. So this is what we're interested in. There's some for you. Thank you. Oops. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I made sure to try to cut a piece that had the seasoning right on oh. the edge. Oh. Oh, this mm. is delicious. I love it. Mm-hmm. Nice so, little glass of wine, like a rosé. Mm. And I can, the rosemary is going up my nasal passage. Yeah, you can smell it. Mm -hmm. So this is a, this Asiago cheese is a firm cheese. It's got the seasoning on the edge but all going through the cheese is a very salty and nutty flavor to it. Oh, that is delicious. So I think my palate, I like to mix sweet and salt mm -hmm. and follow up. Mm -hmm. I think I like the sweet first and then I wanna eat something salty after. That's why I say with that, for me and my palate, mm -hmm. I would like a nice rosé with it, a very light rosé wine mm -hmm. to go with that, and, and, and some, some a nice mild cracker mm -hmm. would be real good. That tastes good. That was delicious. All right. Something sweet again. Okay. We got a lemon cupcake, or we have key lime cookies. Let's try the key lime cookie. Key lime cookie. All right. So this is what we're tasting now, these key lime cookies. One for you, one for me. Thank you. Just a powder by itself. 
Mm-hmm. It's good. It good. <laughs> I like these too. You can definitely taste the kiwi. I mean the key lime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not real sweet. Mm-mm. I like that. It's like the crust of a key lime pie. Yes, that's the perfect way to describe it. Mm-hmm. It's like the crust. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even have the sweetness of a whole cookie. Mm-mm. That and is very good. The powder is like what you get on a powdered donut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But not as sweet as right. the powder on a powdered donut. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's a, that's a good cookie. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a you're not going to get any more of that cookie. I'm getting those again. <laughs> I'm buying those again. <laughs> oh, those are good. Yes. It's the after flavor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Back to salty? Yes. How about we try the smoked mozzarella? Sounds good. Smoked fresh mozzarella. That's what's next. Everybody see that? That should be a far cry different from the mozzarella you buy in the store, in the grocery stores. Yeah. Because it's got the skin on it. Yeah. Now that's different. It is different. Um, Does mozzarella cheese to me when it's just plain it doesn't have a lot of taste to it the texture is firm but yet soft and I think what we're getting most of right now is the smoke the smoke the smoky flavor Uh like I would need something else I would some kind of a salty meat I would need some pepperoni would go good with that yeah or um, um an aged ham, yeah, would be nice with this. I feel like it needs some more seasoning. It does. Something it does. else that's already seasoned to go with it. It's, it's it's bland, but it's not a bad bland. Right. It's still a delicious cheese. I agree. All right, so back to sweet. Sounds good. We got one more sweet. That's our um, lemon cupcake. Okay. Let me cut it in half. Because I have a feeling this is going to be really good. It's lemon. Yep. It's definitely going to be good. Alright. So half for you. Thank you. I'm going to wait for this. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's nice and soft it's and fluffy. Very, very, mm. very fluffy. Very moist. Mm. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Now that has a strong lemon flavor. They weren't playing. This is an overdose cupcake. Mm-hmm. I could sit and eat all of them at one time. Ooh. Mm. So it's far, so moist. this is my favorite mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> Me too. The frosting is sweet, but not overly sweet. And the the cake itself has so much fresh lemon taste to it. It tastes like they put the zest Mm -hmm. in here too. And a lot of juice. Yeah, and not just like lemon powder flavor. Right, Right. Yeah. There's nothing artificial about this cookie. And you can see in the bottom. Yeah, see the the lemon lemon? puree. Let me try to get close so that you guys can see it too. Right at the bottom, there is like a lemon gel. Uh Uh-huh, it's a lemon puree. Puree. Mm. Mm. If I don't get to it first. Mm. (laughs) And then we have one more salty thing to try, and that's these Harvest Snap chips. It says they're lightly salted. These are baked green bean pea snacks. So, I like vegetables. Let's see if we like it in the the dried form. And they're gluten free. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Very cool.
You can taste the pea. Definitely. You definitely taste the pea. Mm -hmm. It tastes very healthy. <laughs> it is good, though. It's good. Because it's just the right amount of salt. Mm -hmm. It has a good crunch to it. And it's a, it's a light. A nice snap. Nice and light. Mm -hmm. I didn't think you would taste that much of the snap of the pea in it. But you can definitely taste the green pea. See that? I could eat that in place of some potato chips. Mm -hmm. A healthier option mm -hmm. and not feel guilty right. without all the grease right. and everything. I'm still going to eat some potato chips, but that's Me too. good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat that with the potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The last thing we're going to taste is this fig spread. Now, I've had this fig, I've had fig spread before but it was from Publix. This okay. is the first time I'm trying it from Sprouts. Okay. So here's a spoon for you. Let's see, this is what we're tasting. Mm -hmm. Here's a spoon for you and a spoon for me. Okay. I have not been a fan of figs, but this is good. I love it. This is on a an app with some apple, a slice of mm. apple, and a piece of that Asiago cheese. Yes. That'll be good. Yep. So that's super sweet, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very sweet. It is. And it needs some kind of a bland mm -hmm. pairing mm -hmm. because that's gonna be a powerful flavor. That would go good on a piece of, um, on a pork chop. That's true too. Very nice on a, on pork, on a pork chop. chop. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. That was really good. Thank you for all the goodies. Yes. So, like I mentioned, I like to taste everything before I put it into uh, my charcuterie boards. To offer to my customers because if I don't like it I certainly don't want to give it to someone else and even though everyone's taste or palate is different I still think that it's a good idea for me to enjoy it because when I buy it I don't buy just small individual package whatever is left over I'm gonna eat it <laughs> Whatever doesn't go in the picnic or whatever doesn't go in the charcuterie, it stays here at the house with me. So I hope to enjoy it. So I hope that you enjoyed our little sprouts tasting and we'll come back and we'll do this again because I will be trying just about everything they have in the store <laughs> eventually. Okay, so it's the next day and this is how I served the food at this indoor picnic for two. We eat with our eyes and our nose first, right? Yes, so I tried to make a really beautiful display. If you haven't seen this video, I will link it in the description box below so that you can go back and check it out. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, press the thumbs up button. Come back and see me again. I post videos on interior decorating and special events decor. I'm Steph Storm, and you'll see me next time. <laughs>